What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you another um, transition video where we talk about being an 8.5 and how to, how to upgrade smart uh, while um, still being a factor to your clan. So where we left off before, I didn't have baby dragons. I got them now. They're level one though. Uh, which is funny because shortly after this, I did these both of these attacks, they became level 2. Um, but I have a level 5 queen now, hooray, which means I get the cloaking ability. Uh, and what we're going to focus at with this video, um, I'll talk about my weights in a different video and what I've progressed since then. Um, but we're going to talk about value of being an 8.5 with 10.5 royals and what your job is in, ro with, in war. And so, as a low royal, if you 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 should still be try uh, try to aim for a town hall nine that you can a low level nine that you can three um, first. But sometimes that's not an option. And this war was one of them that all the low nines I was late to the party uh, were gone. So rather than uh, how to be an effective scout for the town hall tens. So the goal when in wars, whenever you want to be, whenever you're tasked with that, is you want to get as high as possible percentage while also doubling the base, getting at least a two, while also exposing traps for the Town Hall 10, and that could be chesting an opener, but you wanna balance and meet all three of those at once, uh, which, can, which can be challenging if a Town Hall is central, uh, centrally located too. So for this example, I'm gonna show you guys about how not to, uh, one strategy uh, um, that can have a, a good effect, um, and talk about why it's effective and, not, and have some confidence in your queen. So I'm gonna push play, um, Basically, the town hall on the outside is a gimme, right? You dedicate a, uh, your, your your BK and bowlers, CC bowlers for that in a rage, and that guarantees you the star. Uh, everything else is about getting percent, that or is over the 50 as much as you can. And usually with a um, queen walk baby dragon, you can expose some, uh, depending on when you start your queen walk. If you start her after your BK dies, uh, uh, you won't expose as much air things in the middle. If you start her first and then she dies and then the healers, if you, then you put down your BK, uh, your healers traverse across the base and then can expose some things as if you were doing a Lalo to switch over to the BK and that's why I start the queen first here before I start the BK. Um, that's one thing that's good about this. The second thing is have faith in the rage and be general with it. Uh, we're gonna see in one of these about how I take on 4040s. Uh, the other part is um, look for um, uh, great walks. Obviously, with the meta nowadays, all the air defenses being on one side, you can find a pretty good walking path. Um, this uh, other tip here is you're dedicating two rages to the walk, um, possibly three. I'm bringing a heal just to make sure that I get the town hall down, sure, because the BK being level 10 is not a lot of tankage, and I need to make sure the town hall goes down so it's worth the second spell investment. But sometimes you can have three rages for the walk alone. Don't be scarce with them. Don't try to force it. Um, use them liberally, and that's what I've done. The other part is don't re don't forget that you also have the queen ability. That one cloaking uh, time that you that it brings you can give you enough time to catch up to the DPS coming at you, and then you still sustain the walk as we're illustrating down here on the bottom left that just happened. Um, another advice here. Uh, is use your baby dragons liberally. Their job is not only to get uh, percentages, uh, but also um, to funnel some troops. So obviously I put down the baby dragon on the bottom there to funnel my BK and, and bowler combination to make sure they get that town hall. You know, things like that. Um, the, the other part about having a level five queen walk, uh, which is really being illustrated here, is still very doable on most ba town hall 10 bases is the queen doesn't do very much damage. So another reason to use your rages more uh, liberally and sooner is that she'll walk, it's a time saver. You'll get through the base more in a, in a shorter period of time um, because usually with this strategy, it's not that you uh, run out of the firepower. Sometimes you run out of just simply time uh, and you need as much percentage as you can get. So this one was, um, I think a time fail. Maybe not. I bring it to the wall, but 71% here on a pretty standard base. Oh, the last part here. You don't especially want to do a walk where you're not going to trigger the the hound like that because that'll your your level five queen will be there forever. <laughs> so uh, we'll bounce out of here. We'll look at one more, uh, and then we'll call it a video. 
Nope, that was the one we just watched. Okay, so with this example, this was me scouting uh, for some, a, a Town Hall 10 to hit. Uh, and we saw how valuable the walk was, and we ended up making this a queen outside um, bowler witch attack, and it, and it cleared. So this one right here, we're going to watch my queen, level 5, take on a, a max level 40 king. Um, I'm going to win the battle because of liberal use of the rage. I honestly wanted her to keep going to the left when she redirected and went to the right. It was fine, but I could have gotten so much more if she went to the left. By going to the right, I encounter the Infernal Tower, and she doesn't last very long after that. So anyway, I still was able to get as much as I could percent-wise. I just feel like maybe I probably could have got like 80 or something percent. Anyway, be, uh, Baby Dragon going down soon because look at all the storages and things I my queen, level 5 queen has to do. Uh, here's the encounter. So you use the poison to slow down his swings. The rage just keeps her up. That's all it is. So, peace out, Cub Scout, level a max <laughs> BK. She's still healthy, still got the ability, and then I redirect outwards to the right. I'm really, I have so many baby dragons that you use them again for funneling as well as to, to support the damage per second that it's in front of the queen. Uh, like a storage, you know, that's just a stopping point for her. Um, there's really, she's not going to go to the top left, so there's nothing for me to wait. Might as well drop, um, I'm, my BK is never going to get over there. So I might as well start dropping my B, um, baby dragons um, on the left-hand side. Uh, again, I'm really far away from the um, CC. It is fresh, so I don't know what's in it, but I always assume it's a hound loon. There's a scary moment where I knew my queen was not going to last very long. She would have gotten so much more going to the left. Obviously, baby dragons were supposed to be down here. But um, almost survives. If she's a level 30 queen, she may have survived that, but it didn't work out. So now that I know she's dead, again, remember I talked about those healers. I start the queen walk first, then I put down my, my gimme to a star. And this way, uh, my queen, I'm sorry, my healers, you know, get the lure. They also um, expose any traps should somebody want to do a, um, a Lalo attempt on this base. Things like that. But yeah, that was, and then of course, three baby dragons left just for the sheer purpose of percent. But basically, a moral of the story as you transition is don't be afraid uh, to go ahead and scout using a queen walk or a queen charge like this. Um, five healers, obviously, on both of these examples. Hopefully, those talking points were helpful for you. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double. And I'll check you next time.